Well, hello. Welcome back to the Bradcraft Show. I'm your host, Bradavik. Yes, I know there's been a long gap between episodes. I apologize for that. I've had things to do, places to go, people to see. I've been busy, busy, busy. Also, YouTube is giving me a lot of crap about my theme music. It was supposed to be copyright-free, license-free, but they've decided that it is not, and they keep flagging my videos as matching third-party content, so I'm trying to look for a new theme song. We've got a temporary replacement theme song right now from one of my old bands that I was in, but eventually we might get a specially recorded theme song. Right now, I'm in the hayloft of my amazing stable complex, got some hay here. Why do we have all this hay? The horses died last time. Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to exit out of the stable here. We're going to go get a good night's sleep because we're going to need our energy in the morning. Now, last episode, as you all know, something tragic occurred. I was quite upset. I was quite depressed. All my hopes and dreams were dashed. And so I decided I would just go home. Now remember, I was thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks away from home, far to the southwest, and I began journeying home. Well, on my way home, I discovered something amazing, and I'm going to show you that now. We're going to leave out the south exit here. <clears throat> We're going to get on to South Road here. Let's just move on down the roadway. I've been a busy little boy building this road. Do 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 do. Did a lot of landscaping, used a lot of nether brick, used a lot, a lot, a lot of redstone lamps. And we have now built the longest road that has ever been built by any human in any game ever. We're going to work our way down this road. Oh, hello, sheep. This is still considered Bradovic's domain proper. You know, we've got the wooded hills. But once we get over the top of this crest here, things are going to change a little bit. I didn't use the redstone lamps the entire way because, frankly, it's too expensive. Ah, what's this? Another sign. Entering Bradovic's domain. What's this? Desert Causeway? Well, let's get on this Desert Causeway and see where it takes us. Pleasant day in Minecraft. Pleasant day for a journey. Let's run here. This is an interesting geological feature. I like the desert biomes. All right. Got this bridged causeway here. It's going to be kind of a long journey, but we should make it there eh, within half a day or so. I like the roadways because basically travel is so much easier, especially if you have to, if you have to cut through jungle or things like that. Just having a nice level flat area to run across cuts down on journey times by at least 50 to 60 percent. I don't have the exact details there. Ah, now we're getting into the swamp section of the roadway. We'll be journeying through several biomes on this journey. Oh, let's have a potato here. Get our strength up. As I said, I was so dejected after the loss of my beautiful horses, Chico and Humphrey, that I decided to just screw it and go back home, start over again, maybe strike out in a new direction to see if I could find any horses. And remember, I had journeyed for thousands and thousands of blocks, looking everywhere, trying to find horses. And as I journeyed home, dejected, sad, perhaps a tear falling from my eye, I came across the most amazing place in the world. And that's where I'm taking you now. And once we get there, you'll realize why it made me so happy. Ah, we had another sign down here, I think. I know, I forgot to put a sign here. Eh, it doesn't matter. We are entering the Jungle Causeway. Decided to build the roadway up into the jungle canopy to avoid having to chop through all the trees and shrubbery on the bottom. Now, we've already traveled quite a ways, but we still have quite a ways to go. Look at some of the scenery as we go by. I like that little hillside. That might be some place that I might want to build a little treehouse at some point. 
As you can see, this has taken a huge amount of resources and actually quite a bit of time, which is another reason why there's such a gap between these episodes. Lots of wood, lots of nether brick. I'm pretty much out of nether brick now. I've got no nether brick. Ooh, a jungle cat. One of the denizens of the forest. I've also used tons of smooth stone that I had to smelt to make these smooth stone uh, slabs. Still going through the jungle. This is one of the largest jungle biomes I've ever seen. It just seemed to go on forever and ever. Forever, ever. But we, I think, are almost to the end. Yes, in fact, I can see the swamp biome there to the left. If you look out over the left side of the causeway, you can see a swamp biome. All right. We are descending down to the swamp level. Oh, another sign. Swamp Causeway, Jungle Causeway, yes. Now, going on to the Swamp Causeway. We're still on South Road, technically, but different sections of the road are named differently depending on what kind of terrain you're going through. Aha, now what's this? Swamp Causeway, yes. Aha, Horse Road, hmm, hmm. Why would a road be called the Horse Road? <laughs> Well, you're about to find out. We'll be journeying to the west now. We've gone, eh, I'd say almost 4,000 blocks, 3,000 blocks south. Now we are journeying to the west. Over a swampy biome. And soon we should be reaching a very special biome, a very special place. Gotta keep running. Keep on running, running from my home. Some fine day you're gonna be the one to help me understand. Oh yeah, you're gonna need a man. Hey, 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 everyone is laughing at me. Ah. All right, let's eat another potato. What time of day is it? Pretty much noon right now. Actually, a little afternoon, so we still got a little bit of daylight left here. Uh, getting into a taiga biome here. Uh, more jungle over there. Man. Aha, now we're going to be entering into extreme hills, so of course I chose to tunnel through the hillside. That took a bit of time. Almost wore out the fortunate one pick. Had to repair him a little bit, and he's still not doing too great. All right, there's lots of areas to explore in the future here. Now that it's become accessible by these roadways, lots of cave systems in here. Cave systems where evil creatures hang out. We have a little bridge over here. I actually went to the trouble of, you know, now this road is utilitarian. It doesn't look as pretty as my other roads in the main Bradovic domain. So if this were in the Bradovic domain, I would do something a little more special than these just single columns going up. But I figure for a utilitarian road, strictly for practical means, I'd just make it like that. It looks fine. All right, we're getting close. The last little bit of extreme hills. What are we going to find on the other side? It is the Valley of Horses. Look at all these horses. Look at them all. Look at this. This is horse heaven. Well, stallions run free. With baby donkeys. Hello, donkey. I'm journeying through my horse heaven. Look at all these horses. Can you believe this? Look at them all. Look at them. Look, that even looks like Humphrey. The poor, dearly departed horse who died in a tragic accident on his way to my house. Donkeys everywhere. Horses everywhere. This is ridiculous. So... As I was journeying home, sad, dejected, I came across this nirvana, this horse nirvana, and basically all the sadness disappeared, and I realized that I would have to build a roadway to this place because I did not want a horrible repeat of what happened last time. I'm going to have a nice straight shot 
back home to Bradovic Mansion, and I can take as many horses as I want. Look at them. They're everywhere. Hey, doggy. So many different color combinations, so many different coats. Look at a little speckled guy here. Look at that guy. <laughs> so when I got here, I decided to build myself a little corral and capture as many horses as I could right off the bat, throw them in the corral. And then once I built my roadway, I'd come back and bring them home. And that's what we're doing today. So let's get past this area here. We'll get to the corral that I built. Haven't really tamed any of these guys yet, so that's what we want to do. We want to grab these dudes, get some leads on them, bring them home. Once we do, we'll start taming them. We'll start riding them around, see what they can do, see how many hearts they have, see their speed, see their jumping ability. Road still isn't totally finished here. And then we'll get, we'll get a breeding program together. We'll see who we want to breed with whom. So here we go. Look at this. Look at He's got like fur on the back there. I don't know what that's about. Oh, there's a donkey right here. Look at all these horses. <laughs> Love these horses. All right, I'm going to eat a potato. Hey. And we don't have much sunlight left, so I will probably sleep first. And then we'll try to grab some of these bad boys and lead them home. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure how this works exactly, but I'm thinking maybe if I bring a bunch of wild ones home and just release them in the plains biome, in the main Bradovic territory, maybe they'll just hang out there and maybe they'll increase, multiply? I don't know, probably not. Uh, not quite dark yet. So some things have changed. Some of the information we had before the horse update actually came out, talking about the different foods that would help horses breed or grow if they were foals or increase the uh, percentage probability of taming. That's all kind of changed. So now the only foods that make horses go into love mode, into breeding mode, are golden carrots and golden apples. And if you want to use them for breeding, I would highly recommend using the carrots because... To make a golden carrot, it's just one carrot in the middle of the crafting area with uh, gold nuggets all around. But to make an apple, you have to use gold bars. And so basically you're using way more gold to build the golden apples than you would for the golden carrots. So I'd recommend using those for breeding. Um, basically hay bales, the only thing they do is help the growth rate of foals. They don't increase tameability, they don't go into love mode. Uh, you can feed them hay, sugar, all sorts of other things to increase the probability of taming and also just to heal them up. Anyway, we'll get into that when we get back home, but let's just start grabbing some of these bad boys. We're gonna go with you. 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 We'll take a donkey with us. We'll take you. How many should I take here? I don't know how much is going to be. Ooh, I like this guy. Ooh, smiling at me. Eh, maybe one more donkey. All right, so we've got a lot of horses here. Hopefully, the fact that we have a road is going to make it easier to lead all these guys out of here. I don't even know if I'm going to get them out of the... Oh, yeah, see, some have already broken already. Come on, guys. We don't want to lose all of our leads here, too, because those cost slime balls. Come on. Can I get these out of here? Okay, we got everybody? Oh, there's one more. I think I'm just going to leave that donkey behind. Close this. Close it. Close it. Can't close it. Oh, horses, come on. All right, this might not be as easy as I thought it was going to be. So who do we have here? We got a pretty good posse. Oh, there's a horse over here. You're coming with me, buddy. Come on. All right. So now I think we've got everybody we need for now. Did I bring any? Oh, I didn't bring any fencing with me. Damn. I was going to use that to tie him up every night. I'm assuming it's going to take us longer than one day to get these guys home. I can go faster just by myself running, but since I'm leading these horses... Now, the nice thing about this road is since I've got a stairway and everything everywhere, I can just walk behind or looking behind and make sure I've got all my horses with me. I don't know if we'll film... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have built a uh, fenced-off area this entire way so these horses don't freak out. Uh... Are you going to die in some horrible accident now? Oh no, see, he's underneath, the, he's underneath the fence. Oh man, oh. 
Oh no, I'm losing them. I'm losing them all. Are they dying? Ah, okay, let's get off here. Let's get off here. Gonna try to grab the other ones. You guys just hang out. Don't wander off. Okay, we need you. Oh man. Where'd the other ones go? Did they die? Okay, no, there's one there. Okay, buddy. There's one over there. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. Not gonna be easy. Okay, horses. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Can I grab this baby? Uh, want the horse. Give me the horse. Okay, I've got him. Got him. Let's get over here. This is a hassle. The other thing that bugs me is that you can't ride a horse and swim in the water at the same time, which is... Oh, whoa, where are you going, buddy? Oh, we don't want to go deep sea diving here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we've got our three swimmers. Come on, let's go. All right, bringing them to where we left the other horses. They are starting to wander a little bit. We're going to grab you, you, you. I think I lost a donkey, didn't I? Okay, let's bring you guys all over here, and there's still one more jumping around in the water. So hang out. Let go, let go. Let go. Okay, come on. Relax. They're unruly beasts. And we still got the donkey. Okay. Grab my leads. I want to grab this guy that's in the water. He's freaking me out. Gotcha. Alright, let's come up here. Oh, there's a lead over there. These babies are expensive. All right, quickly move on to the land. Go grab our other stragglers. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, let's get these other guys. Wandering all over the place. Got ya. Got ya. Got ya. Got ya. Got ya. Come on, donkey. And you. Oh, this is going to be such a hassle. Maybe I shouldn't try to bring so many at once. All right. Everybody together. Let's go. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I can't count them. <laughs> I want to get a count so I know how many I'm losing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. And that's including... Do I only have one donkey? Alright, whatever. Here we go. Nine horses. Leading them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's a good little herd. Oh, don't go in the water again. Okay, I think he's fine there. Here we go. Doom do 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 Is that everybody? Do 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 do. Yippee ki yay yay yay. Get along, little doggies. It's your misfortune. Oh no, this isn't gonna work, is it? And none of my own. Uh, how am I gonna get these guys across without them all falling to their deaths? Let's release some of them. Now, can I take you guys across? No, that's not going to work. Man, this is irritating. Okay. How about just four of you? Get in the fencing. Okay. I'll take these guys across, and then I'll come back for the other ones. This is going to be a long day. I'm going to tie you all up to this. Okay. Is that all of them? 
Okay, they're tied to the fence. Man, I need a whole slew of cowboys. I need some ranch hands around here. So that was three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one missing. Where'd he go? Oh, he's running down there. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Okay, you, you, give me those leads. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Maybe I should have tamed all these boys first before I did this so they would kind of stay near me. Okay. Now, who have we got? Oh, there's still one more. Come here, buddy. These areas where there are drop-offs kind of freak me out. Now, what I'm worried about is I'm going to start going across this bridge, and they're going to fling themselves down and die. See? This isn't working. <sighs> you... And you stay here for now. And I'll take these guys. Okay, they're all coming. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Going to take a really long time to get these horses back home, but we're just going to keep on plugging away and we'll see what happens. Okay, are they all there now? Yes. Okay, they're all tied up. Oh, boy. We might have to skip through some of this rigmarole until we get close to home. Grab you, grab you. So that should be four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be everybody. Oh, come on. Get up on the get up on the bridge. Come on, horse. Oh, now I'm off the bridge. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. It's getting dark. I'm going to tie these boys to the fence. How much daylight we've got? Just a little bit. I think I'm going to take a nap and also take a break in the episode. When we come back, I will hopefully have gotten all my horses near Bradovic Mansion. And then we can commence with the breeding and the riding and the jumping and the running. So let's just throw our bed down here. And we will take a break. Well, that took a very, very long time. I lost two of my horses. There was it one donkey and one horse on the way here. But I'm here with seven beasts. We're at the stable. Let's see if I can yank these guys in here. That was ridiculous. They really need to work on the whole lead mechanics and just the way the horses are. One horse died. I don't even know how. He was just kind of... Standing by a wall, just suddenly started freaking out and dying. Don't know what happened, but he's dead now. The other one drowned under a bridge as I was trying to yank him on his lead. But anyway, we got these guys here. Uh, get in here. No, come here. Come on, let's get in the corral. Get inside. Get in the cor- Ugh. Get- Hey. Ah! Get in the corral. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move. Okay, jeez. All right. Everybody's here. Now. Now's the time to try to ride one of these bad boys. See how they act. See how they, uh, see the speed, see the hearts, see the jumping ability. I think I'm going to start with this guy will obviously be named Spot. Let's jump on. Wait a minute. Have I already tamed him? No. Whoa. Is he trying to buck me off? I don't know what's going on here. He's not really bucking me off. Ah, here comes the train! Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Are you... He must be tamed already. I don't remember taming this guy. All right, well, let's put a saddle on him. Let's see what happens. Uh, he doesn't have very many hearts, but he doesn't seem all that amazingly fast. Let's see what his jumping ability is. Ooh. Oh. Let's take a better look here. Uh, uh. Can't really jump very far. And he doesn't seem all that fast. Well, not a huge fan of you, buddy. I'm going to leave you right here. 
Let's get that saddle off you. Let's try... This guy. Wait a minute, did I tame you too? I think I did tame him. Alright. Let's try this guy. Let me get rid of my food. Alright, whoa! We're riding. We're riding. Oh, he bucked me off. Come on now, doggy. You're not very energetic. Okay, this guy has a ton of hearts, so I'm going to assume that he's not going to be very fast. Is that it? Are you tame? Alright, I think he's tame already. He's got a saddle on. Yeah. Insanely slow. Molasses slow. And not a very good jumper. Alright, 0 for 2. Let's get to the next one. What about you with that nice white blaze on your forehead? Oh, oh, he's a little more energetic. Oh! Ugh. Come on now, oh! Uh, uh, is that it? Have I got you? Nope. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Now we're tame. Let's take a look here. Give you a saddle. Mount up. Not tremendously fast. How about your jumping? Eh. Man. I'm striking out with these horses. Alright, we'll try to do one more before it gets dark. This guy has some interesting coloration. How about you? Are you tame already, too? I don't think so. No. Alright, let's try it again. Nope. Third time's it. Nope. Fourth time's... Four, uh, fifth time gotta be... Uh, this time, for sure. Nah! Okay, maybe the seventh time. No. Nope. Eighth time? Uh, uh, squeezing with my thighs as hard as I can. Oh. Ninth time? Oh, there we go, finally. All right. Let's give you a saddle, buddy. Eh, he's not very fast. <laughs> What's going on here? And he doesn't jump very high. All right. Who else is yet to be... Well, I've got my little donkey here. Obviously, the donkey's not going to be very fast. I think I've already tamed this dude. What about you? You remind me of Humphrey, or was it Chico? Okay. We're riding. Alright. Second try. Come on. Oh! One more time. Ah! Ah, there we go. He's got about ten hearts, it looks like. Let's put the saddle on him. Is he fast? He seems pretty speedy. Jump. Let's try this. Oh, we got over the fence. That's not bad. Oh, here comes a zombie. Jump! Jump, boy! There we go. Alright, he's not bad. This might be my mount. So I think what we're gonna do next is breed a couple of these horses together. I think I want to go with this... Now wait a minute, you had that many hearts. Alright. I want to go with another kind of low health thoroughbred and see if we can get a really fast horse going here. You aren't the greatest. What about you? Okay, now you hardly had anything. So what we're gonna go do is grab some golden carrots. Now you can breed the horses with golden carrots or golden apples. Why would you use the apples? Because they take nine gold bars to make one apple, whereas the carrots you can use nuggets with. And one gold bar makes nine nuggets. So I would highly recommend using the carrots to breed the horses. Oh, and I think I also want some hay, so if they have a foal, I can help the foal grow up a little quicker. There's some hay. 
All right. So, certain foods will increase the percentage of you being able to tame the horse. Other ones take minutes off how long it takes a foal to grow. A foal, I believe, takes 20 minutes usually. Okay, who was I going to go with here? Was it you? No, I can't remember. I think it was you. Let me see. No, you weren't the one. Which one was it? Losing it. Nope. Yeah, it was you. Okay. So, let's take you into the breeding section. Get to the love hotel. Come with me. And we were going to grab this guy. All right. Hey. Come on now. Uh, kind of tempting fate by doing this at night, but whatever. Let's head into the love corral. Come on. Come on, horses. Oh, there's a donkey in here already. Hey, I'd forgotten that I'd gotten a donkey. Well... He can watch. He likes to watch. Sick bastard. Alright. Let's get our carrots. One for you. Mmm. And one for you. Oh. Oh, they're going at it. They're doing it. Oh. Ooh, that's a pretty little foal. Here you go. Oh, he's getting bigger. Getting bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. Is he full grown now? Yeah, I think he is. Well, there you go. Alright. Let's take a ride on the wild horse. If you're gonna ride, ride the wild pony. Come on now. Oh! I like his coloration. Looks like he has the same health as one of his parents. Oh! Oh, he's got a lot of spunk. He's lively. Oh, you left me up there. Where are we going? Where are we going, buddy? Oh, he just doesn't want to be tamed. Wow. He's got spirit. He's a thoroughbred. Come on. Come on. Damn. Ah. Ha ha ha. Finally. Now, let's see how you do, buddy. Saddle him up. Let's try jumping over this fence. Not too difficult. Man, he still doesn't seem very fast. Seems like he jumps pretty high. Let's take another look at that. Eh. 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 It's decent. Well, we're obviously going to have a lot of work to do here. We're going to have to get a little breeding program going. We're going to see which horses are the best. I might... Whoa, there's a zombie out there. I might plan some sort of little competition for these horses. See who performs. So we'll leave this little family together for now. I don't know what this donkey's doing in here. What are you doing in here, donkey? You're not carrying anything. But for now, I think we've left the horrible tragedies of the past behind us. We have a nice breeding stock of horses to go from. I can also go back to the Valley of the Horses and gather up anyone else I find out there that I might... Whoa! Uh, who might be of good quality. We'll bring him back up here. I'm even thinking of leaving some wild ones out in the plains around here. I'm not sure what would happen with that, but we'll see. But for now, I have been Bradovic. You have been the audience. This has been the Bradcraft Show. Ah! Good day! Die, you son of a... Hold on. Never leave a zombie without an arrow in his head. I can't do that. Ha! <laughs> Alright. I've been Bradovic, you've been the audience, this has been the Bradcraft Show. Good day!